what, what we're focused on, our mission is to create medicines that lengthen the period of time which we call health span mm -hmm. by creating drugs that will either slow, halt, or in some cases reverse specific diseases of aging. We're doing that targeting a particular powerful biology that's been emerging over the last 10 years called cellular senescence, um, which is essentially aging of an individual cell and then how it affects or drives disease. We think it affects diseases from something as uh, concrete and specific as osteoarthritis, which is the primary reason it hurts to be old, mm -hmm. to loss of cardiac or pulmonary function or even cognitive function and vision as you age. Things that we've come to accept as part of the normal course of aging, that's what we're challenging is what we've come to accept as a normal course of aging. So walk us through a, a specific example, if you can, Keith, just so we can understand exactly how this works. I mean, if we're targeting senescent cells and we're targeting, we're trying to get them to either go away or, or be eliminated for a particular disease, your pick, how does that actually work and how does that make the quality of your life better? Yeah, so first I'll explain cellular mm -hmm. senescence. That's when a cell at some point in its life, if it doesn't die, um, it stops cell division and it's goes into park and over time it persists and it starts excreting a number of um, harmful factors and proteins and these harmful factors and proteins have been known for some time to drive disease so the big insight is in the last 10 years is that the senescent cells are actually like little disease factories driving specific diseases and that the elimination of these cells can ameliorate those diseases so in the case of osteoarthritis we can see senescent cells in osteoarthritic patients' knees, both in the synovial lining and in the cartilage. And we will administer a drug, we're doing this now in the clinic, directly into the knee. And we want to eliminate those cells, specifically those cells, and not leave healthy ones intact, and then shut off this factory, remove the root cause of the disease. I know that we live in a gee whiz world. I mean, we're doing things with communication and, and everything else that, that, that we never could have imagined 10 or 20 years ago. But I had to say, this one sounds a little too much out there uh, to some degree. Theoretically, this all sounds viable. But realistically, realistically, are you going to be able to do this? Absolutely. Um, we're building on probably 30 years of very rigorous aging biology work done by many centers, principally academic centers. And aging used to be thought of one as one thing that nobody could figure out how to untangle. What's really happened in the last 30 years is component parts and drivers of aging have emerged and ones that are amenable to treatment. And cellular senescence is one of those. And the evidence is mounting both in our company and, and outside that you can intervene and you can change the course of these specific diseases. I'm getting ahead of myself and I'm going to sound like a real uh, 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 amateur in all this, which I am, but at what point do we stop aging then? In other words, okay, I'm 62 years old. Is this the age when I stop aging? I'm going to be 62 for the next, you know, whatever amount of time or does it start at 35 or whatever? You know, well, it's I'm, interesting, and, and the way we're looking at it, would I would probably have to answer you disease by disease. So certain diseases start onset at certain times. And in the near future, we would like to treat those diseases as they emerge, whether they're in your 30s, 40s, 50s. Um, in, the, in the far future, we can imagine a world where you could go into the clinic once or twice a year and have your senescent cells uh, removed and kind of be maintained in a more youthful a vigorous state. Before we get to that stage though, uh, what's the farthest uh, phase along within clinical trials that you've gotten for any disease? So we're in phase one now in osteoarthritis, okay. treatment of osteoarthritis. That's the initial application and it's the furthest along in the, in the space. Um, we hope to see results from that in the first quarter of next year. And those results, results should tell us if we're engaging the target and doing what we think and that should lay the pathway for further clinical development.